Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Fandom. Fun. Funny. Well, we didn't order any french fries. All right. Shoo, 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 shoo. Pow, 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 pow. Ping, 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 pow, pow. Woo. Welcome the to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Choo, choo. My name is KJ. I'm your host, and I really like the french fries from Five Guys. Choo, choo, pow, 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 pow. Choo, yeah. choo, choo. Introducing producer Jana. Favorite french fries. Hey, guys. I really like the french fries from Rallies. Because they're like the seasoned French fries. Mm. They're so good. Mm. Woo, choo, choo, choo. Pow, 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 pow. Gamer Katie. I actually have an answer for this one for the first time. My <laughs> favorite fries are from Culver's. Oh, oh crinkle fries. Crinkle oh. fries. Culver's does have good fries. Oh, I might Culver's be having a favorite yeah. French fry. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Okay. Choo, 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 choo. This is so tough. Poo, poo, poo. The producer of the kind of nerdy dudes and sometimes the kind of nerdy girls. Choo, choo, choo. Pow, 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 pow. Isn't that what you do on your show? Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible, like, guitar thing. No, not that one. Okay, okay. Do you make your own sound? Effects for your podcast. It, it, it's been requested. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Li- I gotta listen. Yeah, listen to <laughs> the kind of nerdy it. dudes. The sound effects are worth it. <laughs> Something like that, right? Something like bam, that. Bam, yeah. bam, 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 bam. Yeah. It's producer patches. Hi, uh, my favorite French fries are the ones I make fresh cut. I know, but I can't order those on Grubhub when we're done with this podcast. Brought to you by Grubhub. Uh, <laughs> I can't order those when we're done here. I no. want to like, while Katie's talking about gaming stuff and I'm not really paying attention, order French fries. <gasps> what? <laughs> Jonna has a what's got Jonna weeping that made her so excited to tell us about these tears that she actually wrote it down so she wouldn't forget. Amazing. Okay, but I always do that. Okay. Well, now I you're making it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Am I, I the only and one? I even write like little notes so I don't forget, like legitimately. Oh, I do that too. <laughs> that's so cute. You guys show prep. I'm so proud. Oh yeah. Only right. sometimes. I don't write anything down until five minutes before, and then I scribble some stuff like this yeah, on an envelope. On an and then envelope. I have all my Google tabs pulled up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I... <laughs> oh, very nice. I have notes on a bill from my dentist. <laughs> 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 But I have not paid yet. Sorry, Dr. Teak. It's checks in the mail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Patches, do you have anything from the kind of nerdy dudes? Any news to share with the kind, from the kind of nerdy dudes? If not, no, we, no. we can get right into it. Get, get right into Let's it. get right into the fact that you don't have Randy Orton coming on your podcast anytime oh, soon. God, you I would love there? to have Randy Orton <gasps> on my podcast. That we, would be amazing. Need, Jada, will you produce some wrestlers on our show? Thank you. I'll try. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> Make it happen. I'll see if I can get John Cena and his new hair to. Ooh, oh my get God. On I can't. I can't. That's getting with, out of control. I can't deal with his hair. It's not right. It's just yeah. me out, man. Just but, hit, yeah. just him on that so Experian weird. commercial alone, and has grown out since then. Is just all. Oh my Ooh. God! I know. It's bad. Uh, it's bad. Like da, if you da, can da, see da. the wind blowing right. through John Cena's yeah. hair, there's something wrong. Yeah. You, you know what? Our world, our world didn't start messing up until John Cena grew hair. <laughs> Damn you, John. Just saying. <laughs> well, as we are recording, you should know that today is the anniversary of Star Trek in 1966. So happy birthday, Star Trek. That's really old. <laughs> <laughs> That's like before my mom was even born. Oh, my goodness. That is wow. Old. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that- so it's the three. Three year anniversary of the first con that I ever went to. Oh, Aww. that's right. John that's and far I more important. went to Horror <laughs> Hound on this day uh, in 2017. Who were uh, yep. some of the, what do you remember other than the fact that our first con that we went to together was interrupted by a fire alarm and we spent a lot of it outside the building? <laughs> what but do you remember? Had a good time. <laughs> I remember meeting Nicholas Brendan. Oh, yeah. Before I knew him as uh, Xander on Buffy. Oh, that's right, because you hadn't started Buffy yet. Yep. And then being creepily in a picture with Mitch Pelegi and like a big group of people. Oh, Oh, I forgot about that. (laughs) 
Jada, yeah. so when you go to a convention, there's, a, there's the photo area and there's the autograph area. And the autograph area, everybody can walk through and you can see the celebrities at their tables signing autographs and things like that. And Jana was, t- I was going to get you right up there, girl. And you, she was too embarrassed. No, no, no. I'm nervous. And so- Y'all remember when I met John Wesley Ship? okay? <laughs> like, th- it was that. So we did the thing where I was like pretending like I was taking a picture of something else. But oh, the- lame. Jana like sticking her head near Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great picture. <laughs> Honestly, it's like a really great picture. <laughs> I need to find it. <laughs> I'll take it, post it. Yes, please post that to, to the Kind of Nerdy Network on Facebook and the Kind of Nerdy Girls on Twitter. At Kind of Nerdy Girls. But let's see. Speaking of the kind of nerdy network, uh, I did put it out there yesterday with Twitter. Every time uh, a, a celebrity trends, you have to check to make sure they're not dead or have COVID mm-hmm. now. Yep. Uh, um, and so Henry Cavill was trending over the weekend, <gasps> and I was like, "Uh oh, he's dead, healthy, dead or COVID." And he's fine. <laughs> uh, I. To my surprise, he went, well, he's, he was fine. And it was just a bunch of people that started the conversation about whether or not he's going to come back as Superman and people no. having, well, I wanted to get your opinions because it was, it, honestly, that's what it was, which is what Twitter's supposed to be, a conversation where people are talking Look, about the same thing. And so it was people Really just, nice way to say argument. Uh, well yeah um okay so let's argue about whether or not henry cavill was the best superman and should come back for another movie i'll go first let's have a lively discussion or an aggressive discussion i feel is the better word for us aggressive discussion let us know (laughs) enter our heated debate okay it's time for a i represent team one in the against <laughs> Spider-Man division. Wait, we're um, not talking about Spider-Man. We're talking Superman, about Superman. Sorry, we're both terrible. <laughs> Wait, sorry, no. I get my bad superheroes messed up. Sorry. Tom Holland. Spider-Man is a great Spider-Man. superhero. Well, moving on back to what I was supposed to be talking about. <laughs> Superman, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> trashy, dumb superhero, super lame. Henry Cavill's too busy being the Witcher. Point taken. Close. Okay, Done. but. I mean, if they could wow. fit in another Superman movie, like, and I would not watch it. Okay, because why? we all watched Batman versus Super Superman, and it was terrible. And I wanted to gouge my eyes out. Okay, okay, go ahead, Jana. Okay, I would like to say that if he has enough time to film Enola Holmes, then he probably has enough time to film Superman. What is that? True. Good point. Holmes, it's got. Uh, uh, Millie Bobby Brown in it and Henry Cavill and oh, yeah. 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 yeah okay now yeah that, okay that make okay Good I point. forgot about that okay but let's say that he has I wrote that of- down on my notes thank you Jonna so proud of you I raised you so well <laughs> uh <laughs> So let's like put all of that aside. Let's say he's it's on the table. He has plenty of time in his schedule to be Superman again. Should he be Superman? No. Let it die. Now, did you hate him as Superman or did you? I just don't like Superman. Okay. Any of the Superman. They're all terrible. Superman. I go on this tangent about twice a year. Superman is the worst superhero. Mm -mm. Well, I will tell you some of the comments from the Kind of Nerdy Network. Actually, right as you said that, I was reading Elizabeth's comment. He is the worst Superman. At, I told you. No. Uh, <laughs> she goes on to say, actually, the movie was the worst. Anyone that follows the comics would know this dreadful. Clay from the Kind of Nerdy Dudes commented with a different writer slash director. Absolutely. So do you think if, it had a, if he had a different team around him, he could make a good Superman? I don't think there is a good Superman. <laughs> now, this is going to shock you. Once again, I'm on Team Katie. Of course you are. Oh, it's been a I, long time I, since Katie and Patches have been together. Yeah. Here comes the Katie and Patches show. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> like, like Katie, all right, I am 100% against Superman. He, I agree with her. He is arguably the worst superhero of all time because he is so damn boring. 
There is yes. there's no depth to his character. So Amen. the planet blew up. You don't even remember it. You grew up on Earth with parents. Who Hallelujah. Were, and then you grow up <laughs> to be this invincible thing that nothing can hurt you except this little green rock. And that's it. It's just, just come on. Like, wow, that, that's a deep character. Oh, I'm sorry, your dad died in a tornado. You know, get so over it. So did everybody else, right? Yeah, everyone else did. At least you <laughs> saved, at least a dog lived. He did the right thing. So there you go. Get over it. Yana, how do you feel about Superman? <laughs> is, she, is she frozen? Yep. <laughs> oh, she's frozen. I really, okay, Jonna is frozen with her head tilted, like, really? And I honestly thought she was sitting there staring at you. That's just her face. Ready to come <laughs> at you. <laughs> okay, so here's my thing. I do, I, I, I do think that now seeing Henry Cavill in other things and knowing that he's a really great actor, that mm -hmm. it might be worth giving him a shot of being Superman in a well-written, well-directed movie. Maybe James Gunn could handle a, a Superman movie. Maybe a J.J. Abrams. Maybe, maybe the Russo mm -hmm. brothers. Like, no, um, Russo know, brothers like, could maybe. Plenty of nerds. You know, Patty Jenkins, she's done great with Wonder Woman. Let her, maybe we do a Wonder Woman movie where Superman comes in and is an ancillary character where it's still a Wonder Woman movie, but they team up. Maybe we do a Lois Lane movie with no Superman. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, okay. We could do that. But here's the one thing I would like, even if this is all he does in coming back as Superman, partly because I just don't want to go through somebody else being Superman. It's like the same thing with Batman right now. Like, how many Batmans do I have don't to Don't talk have? bad about Robert Pattinson's The Batman. Okay, I just... Don't need another Batman in my life. There's a lot of Batmans. There's a lot of Batmans. And so I, God, I don't want to have another. Just let it be the Superman I'm used to. I would like Henry Cavill to come back as Superman in Shazam 2 so that we can see Shazam and his like goofy character and finish that scene where headless Superman shows up in the lunchroom. Even if that's all we get is we just get an extended scene. Because in my mind, that was Henry Cavill. That was the Superman that showed up at the end. And so I want him to show up. Can, I, can he keep the mustache? No. There, <laughs> I'm going to say yes if you digitally edit it out again. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you weren't here for the last episode. We discussed the, the Snyder Cut is $20 million of fixing the mustache. <laughs> yeah, but I agree yeah, with that. That's that's all it's yeah, gonna be with with like dark music, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Man, what would you use all your editing budget for? Oh, just editing out mustaches, <laughs> <laughs> or editing it in so that it looks fuller. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's a good one? Oh yeah, maybe do the the curly. I don't know what that's called. The curly cue off the side thing and. Um, but overwhelmingly, guys, the, in the kind of nerdy network, most people were super on board. Super on board with Superman. <laughs> Thank Jada, you. Jada just joined us and is really happy that we're still talking about Superman. My computer decided to die. Oh, oh. no. Well, I, I don't want to beat Superman into the ground here, but do you have any thoughts I on do. Superman? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Katie, you're so rude. I don't have anything against Superman. I quite enjoy Henry Cavill, the actor. Cavill, Cavill, however you say his name. Mm -hmm. I quite enjoy him as an actor. Mm -hmm. So it, I don't really care if he's Superman or not. But I get what you guys are saying about the whole consistency thing with DC. Because it's like they... Sw and I mean, it's not even just like Superman. Like it's like Batman and Joker and like Harley Quinn. Like they're always changing the char like the actors for the characters. So there's no consistency and what's going on and then once you get a new person to be that character you have to start a whole new storyline yeah and it's, yeah. it's just too much well and they even went into it when they were planning the justice league with having the success of the arrowverse and Stephen amell being really embodying that character mm -hmm. of arrow and grant gustin being the flash that it was like why can't you just let these guys be them on the big screen. Why do we have to have different actors for the movie? Yeah. I mean, I think that's an additional whammy that DC has been dealing with is that those characters have existed so successfully in, in the TV world 
that, then you're also casting them for a movie world. We're supposed to go, okay, well, he's the Flash for this and he's the Flash for that. I became a DC fan because I started watching like Arrow and Flash like on the CW. Exactly. And then you go to the movies and you're like, what is, why aren't the people who are making the show making the movies? Yes. Now, I want to go back to something, uh, Jonna, with you in mm-hmm. talking about the Arrowverse and how mm-hmm. you loved it so much. Where were you when Chad Michael Collins was wiping out Arrow in our last episode? Look, <laughs> did you not see my face? Because I was so offended and I was just like, Yes. Okay. That's then- why we talk because it's a podcast and no one can see your face. No, so it. just okay. We did, love uh, you. We did a uh, wed Sorry. work with it. That's okay. We did wed work <laughs> with and wipe out DC with Chad Michael Collins on our late, but we finally got their hundredth episode, which ended up being like a hundred and five. <laughs> and he he chose Wonder Woman to wed. Of he, he picked to work with. I wrote it down and then I erased it. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't remember who he picked to work with. I figured with. he'd be like a. He seems like he'd be more like a Batman. What was the question? Or, who did Chad did pick to work with in the DC? Do you remember? Wow, and I just listened to that episode. Ah, yeah, I did too. Oh, maybe I work? should listen to your guys' podcast. Maybe you should. You guys listen I, to these episodes? Yes. Katie. Well, I had to edit it after KJ edited it. Oh my it. gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> hang on. We'll get to re-edit. we'll get to that. So anyway, we're sitting there. John is giggling through the whole interview, yes, only talking when like I that. when I come at her about her secret job. And we and she rearranged everything to be with us. Like to, to, she was not gonna miss Chad Michael Collins back on the show. And I was You're like, right. this is Jonna's moment. He's going after Arrow, and Jonna is not going to have this. <laughs> okay, look. Okay, look, 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 look. This is what happened, okay? He was talking about Green Arrow, and I was just like, oh, my God, like, how dare you say some shit like that? And then he started talking about Hawkeye, and I was like, he has a point. Because <laughs> 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 if you think about it, they're basically Hawkeye. the same character, just yeah. different universes. And I was like, well... Yeah, but did you notice the difference in listening back? Because when he came at Hawkeye, you could hear the horror in my voice. I was like, oh, don't you go after my Hawkeye. (laughs) AJ, I'm going to tell you that I am no help to anyone in an interview. So (laughs) you should know this by now. How many interviews have we done together? (laughs) I know, but I really thought this is Jonna's moment. She is not going to stand for this. She loves Arrow. And then you I just, do. You, you did. I mean, we can go back and look at the video and you did have a horrified look on your face, but you didn't say anything. I couldn't. <laughs> because he made a good point. And when he started talking about Hawkeye, because I talk mad crap about Hawkeye. And you Everyone know it. does. So like when he said it, I was like, honestly, same. They are but like, of- I do love Green Arrow though. Like Stephen Amell did such a good job playing Green Arrow and all that stuff. But I just, I just, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry. It's I'm fine. Just really, I, I don't like really like arguing with people unless you want to argue with me about Batman and then it's totally different. Yeah, but- for some reason, Jada will come at you. I will fight to the death about how much I hate Batman. But aren't you, with Robert Pattinson playing the Batman, Batman. aren't you a little more intrigued? Like, maybe Robert Pattinson will be your Batman. Maybe this is... I'm just so curious. I just want to see what it would be like, because, like, I've seen him in other movies besides Twilight. Do you remember The the King, King, Jonna? Yeah. He had the horrible accent. I didn't even bother with The King because you guys... Don't. It's not even worth it. Robert Pattinson also has a new movie on Netflix with Tom Holland called The Devil All the Time. Not The Devil All the Time. The Devil Within. But yeah, Some, it's The Devil something. something. And they're both The Devil people, Something. Right? No. Robert Pattinson's like a pastor or something. But he's Southern. Like, uh, Georgia Southern. southern. Oh, he's got God. a Southern accent. And when I saw the preview for it, I was like, what is that? The I think devil there's... all the time. The, the devil, devil all the yeah. time. Hey, that has Bill Skarsgård in it. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's got a like a all star cast. Well, Tom Holland's playing a killer, right? I don't know if he's a killer. I don't know. If I'm he's pretty like sure he is. 
I'm pretty sure when they uh, announced the casting for this, I was like, I am not watching my sweet little neighborhood Spider-Man kill people. No. That's not my happening. friendly neighborhood well, serial killer. Hey, re- realistically, <laughs> he probably has killed people just like with the aftermath of his shenanigans trying to save yeah. the neighborhood. I mean, there's always collateral. Oh my gosh. Okay, why don't you go sign the Sokovia Accords? Jeez. Hey, I'm oh. in. Get rid of Spider-Man. Oh. Oh, you're gone. What a deep cut Funny. that was. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to get to Jana's. What's got Jana weeping here in a second? But first, choo, 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 pa, 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 ching, 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 boop, 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 It's time for Katie's Gaming Update, the Cats Edition. Woo! Yeah, so I found this and I brought it purely for you, KJ. Okay. Uh, CNN posted an article about the five different kinds of cat owners. Oh, this is, you're going in depth with, with cat. Okay, can for the gaming people, let me give them a little tidbit before they stop listening because they don't a care about the cats. Mammal. Hang for on just a second. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to add in our gaming update that the Loot Before You Leap Gaming Awards were this week. And our friend, Chad Michael Collins, and his game Call of Duty Modern Warfare won for Best First Person Shooter. Wow. Yep. Go ahead. Do you have a, a, a favorite first person shooter game, Katie? I know that Call of Duty isn't really your thing. There's a lot of first person shooters I like. Yeah, you can only keep one. I know. For the rest of your life. Can I keep a series? Yes. Oh. oh. Then the Fallout series. Fallout. Easy. Okay. All right. Because I never well, play first person because that's stupid. Only first person. But if you keep if you keep the series, you ha- still have to play seventy six. I know I, it's a burden I'm willing to bear. Okay, keep the rest right. of them. Just making sure. <laughs> 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 all right, so that's all the gaming news I have. Anyway, back to cats. <clears throat> so for those who don't know, a cat is a mammal. Most mm-hmm. of the time, they live in your house. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they live outside. Uh, you don't actually adopt a cat; they just show up in your house. That's not, but, none of this, that's not true. <laughs> you adopt cats. They don't just show up. No, you up. don't. They just show up. Like this at your house where they just keep showing up. That's not true. The last one showed up in a text message. He didn't actually arrive at the house. Well, technically he did. <laughs> well, no, he showed up in a text message first. Okay. And then he was dropped off. Little baby Johnny? <laughs> little baby Johnny. Ja- that's Johnny, Johnny Storm. Storm. Little, little baby, baby Johnny Storm. Little baby Johnny I can't Johnny believe you named Storm. your cat after a Fantastic Four movie. Well, it's he's... Like, it's a Chris Evans character. Chill out. It's a Chris Evans character. He's a flame point. How could we not? And it is, it is. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. to. to it, he never gets called Johnny. He's just Johnny Storm all the time. Johnny Storm. Johnny, flame on, Johnny Storm. Oh, hey, Johnny Storm. What's going on? Are you hungry, Johnny Storm? Okay, so what are these things about, <laughs> what are these things about cat owners and what kind of cat so owners? So it's a list of... Okay. Five different kinds of cat owners. Okay. Um, and you have to see where you fit in. Okay. Can you do some sound effects, like some meowing or something for this segment? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jada, can you do some meowing, please? You want me to meow? Yeah, yeah. Please Just meow the entire time. Meow the... Yeah. <laughs> no, that's annoying. <laughs> meow. Right, meow. right meow. Meow. Right meow. 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 Mm. meow. Mm. Now that's good. So the first one, okay, so it goes from helicopter parent to like landlord, but there's five different categories. The first one, concerned protectors focused on cat safety. Mm -hmm. Then there's freedom defenders who prioritize cat independence, but oppose restrictions on behavior. Then there's tolerant guardians that believe outdoor access is important, but dislike hunting. Then there's conscientious caretakers that bear some responsibility for managing their cat's hunting. Then, bottom of the barrel, laissez-faire landlords who largely are unaware of the issues surrounding roaming and hunting. Ah, so this is about people who let their cats outside. Yes. I don't, yeah, we don't let our cats outside. Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. Why? Because I would, I worry about them when I haven't seen them for a few hours and I know they're in the house. (laughs) <laughs> I just, okay there is no way uh, th- there are too many dangers that not only are there predators 
out there that you know oh and we have a ton of predators in this backyard we have a, a bunch of red tail hawks that are making noise back there that would love to eat one of my cats but you have people who don't like cats you don't know that they're not going to do something terrible to them you i mean you don't know what they're going to get into and get sick there's heartworm to think about there's a lot of stuff to think about plus most cities and uh, counties have an ordinance where they don't you're not supposed to let your cat outside so breaking the law i am a law-abiding okay. citizen and i keep my cats in the house thank you very much i bring this survey up not because of what's actually in it but because how you get to it oh. so if you google this survey mm -hmm. um, obviously it's the top answer but then it has the little people also ask these questions on the google how do cats identify their owners how many cat owners are there? Okay. What is the most cats owned by one person? And is owning five cats too many? <laughs> <laughs> no, six is. Nope. And owning <laughs> six cats is just fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a really long way to get to you just deciding that Google thinks I'm crazy. Right? Listen, I, okay. I just Listen. read what the Google tells me. Do you believe Google everything Google, Google tells you? Well, who would go on the internet and just blatantly lie, KJ? <laughs> uh, oh. while, we're, while we're on the subject of cats, you guys, I was a, a total nerdy girl today. I got to interview Jackson Galaxy for Pet Pals TV. Now, I don't, I don't know who that you is. guys don't know who he is. is. Ten seasons of My Cat from Hell, a TV <gasps> show. Oh, that my guy. gosh. The dude with the weird hair. What, okay. What, I mean, he doesn't really have hair. He's, he's just bald, kind of but he's got the bald. weird facial weird. hair going on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yes. All right. He's you like the weird haired cat guy. I would have known. Hello. He is Jackson Galaxy from My Cat from Hell. He's, I mean, he is the cat daddy. I have mm. his products in my house. We just reordered Easy Breather, Holy <laughs> Solution, and we have the Peacemaker. Uh, anyway, he's not sponsoring this, so I'll <laughs> just leave that out. Because I insulted his hair. But no, I was a, I, I was a total fangirl. I had to get myself together for, I actually, the, like, I did prep like you guys do. I wrote down notes and questions I could ask if I got tripped up and couldn't handle myself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he knows all, all the cat stuff. Like, he just, he's a genius. He's, he knows how a to cat genius. He is a cat genius. So anyway, he's going to be on uh, Pet Pals TV coming up September nineteenth. If you're if you're listening along in real time as the episodes get released, and then on September twenty sixth, he's doing his cat camp, which is like <laughs> usually a convention for cat owners in New York that you know buy tickets to and meet people like Jackson Galaxy and learn how to take better care of your cats and celebrate cats and make paintings of cats and learn how to be a better cat photographer. This year it's online and it's free to everybody. So I'm going to be watching cat camp. You guys aren't cat people. What? Jana. We love, we love our cats. Look, I love y'all's cats. Don't get me wrong. I love yeah, those little, I, mean, love I, those I, guys. I love all six of our cats. They're, they're my kids, but but that's just I'm, I'm I'm a I'm a little concerned about that's you. That's just like what that word you look you just this, are bad because you're gonna be wanting to watch a, a Premier League game or something and I'm gonna say no, we're watching cat camp. No, <laughs> silly, the what? Premier League isn't playing what? right now. This this is what cat camp sounds like to me if y'all had human children. Hey, we're gonna sit around and talk about how to take care of our kids for three days. Isn't that Don't what people parents do, that? do? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems weird. Like, you're just going to go to a convention and do paintings of your kids and learn how to feed them better. What the? <laughs> Are you going to go to a camp and learn how to do cat stuff? Like, how to manage fur? How to clean between the beams? Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, but how, I how do you properly cough up like, a hairball, Katie? It would be very fun. You are a, a very knowledgeable, wonderful dog owner who has left the stream. And she so did leave the stream. We'll get wow. 
This is it. She just wanted to get her cat smack in and get out. I'm here. My dog threw up. I have to deal with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Please go deal with it. See, I was going to I'm going to go deal with this. You're All right. Good, goodbye, everyone. You're a good dog. <laughs> we love you. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. What else do we have to do? Uh, that's enough about it. That was a lot of cats. If you want more cats and dog talk, you can listen to the Pet Pals TV podcast. This is the kind of nerdy girl. Yes. Go listen to that podcast. Jonna. Goodness. So Jana, hateful. This is my- I'm not hateful. I love y'all's cats. Don't get me wrong. And I loved my, my cat niece Bacon. Loved her. <laughs> But there's only so much, like, I can only handle so much of people talking about dogs and, like, their actual children. So, well, like, this isn't for you. I'm just saying, like, I don't. Yes. <laughs> there are, I don't want to go to Christmas Con, but you do. Oh, I would die if I could go to Christmas Con. I'm not judging. I would love you it. That. Yeah. Not now, judging see, you I that. think Christmas is arguably the dumbest holiday of all time. Yes, we all know you hate Christmas, okay? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. We all know you hate but Christmas. But you know what, Jonna? I would go we to all Christmas. all know you're a Grinch. I would love to go to Christmas with you because I would see how much fun you would have at Christmas Con. It would be so fun. I wish that there was a Christmas Con going on this year. But still be COVID has ruined my life once again. I know. We are going to be doing something special with, with the Christmas movies this year. Bonnie from the Kind of Dirty Network is compiling a list of Christmas movies that kind of nerdy stars have been in so that we can watch Christmas movies. Chad Michael Collins was in a Christmas movie. Yes, mm-hmm. he was in a Christmas card, which is a quality movie. <laughs> Even before I knew that Chad was in it, it is such a good movie. A, I cry every time I watch that movie, matter of fact. Uh, so it turns out that a lot of these actors that we love that are in Marvel and things like that, got some sort of start in the Christmas movie making world. So Bonnie's going to have our list of the, the 12 kind of nerdy Christmas movies. To oh, watch. Good. I'm glad I don't have to come up with another list of 12 because that was hard enough the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. We still have our, the great Chris Evans giveaway is going on. Uh, I got the stand up. So we're giving away. John, you I can saw enter. It. Did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We got, I'm not going to enter to win. Okay. Thank you. Give I'm going to give someone else a chance. I've already got a pillow with his face on it. I don't need a whole cutout. Right. I don't have enough space in my bedroom for it. Well, we've got it here ready to ship out to the lucky winner at the end of the month. I'm going to uh, have to come visit it before it leaves your house, though. Well, yes, but we have another one. There's one we're keeping and one we're giving away. Y'all got two? <laughs> yep. Well, they got <laughs> Now you're gonna have two Captain America cutouts. Yes, <laughs> I have two Captain America. Right now, John, there are three Captain America cutouts at our house. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I love it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Chris Evans to block me any I have day now. No comment on this. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, woo, choo, 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 pop, 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 ping, ping, poo, 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 wah, wah, wah. What's got Jono weeping? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> okay, well, before we get to what makes me cry all the time, did yes. y'all watch Lucifer yet? Yes. yes. So you yes. got to the end? Yes. We made it to the end. Okay, so how cool of Dennis Haber- Haysburg, right? Yes. Right. That's, so did exciting. you know that, that I knew that going in? Did you know that he was going to? Yeah, okay. I did. And then I, I forgot while I was watching it. And then like at the end of that episode, he was like, you guys know I don't like it when you fight. And I was like, hey, there he is. I was waiting for him to pop up. <laughs> and that was why I was bummed because I was like waiting. Like, when's he going to get here? When's he going to get here? And then it was like right at the end. Because I, of course, you know, got to be uh, dramatic. So right. I guess we'll get him in the second part of of Lucifer season 5B. Enough. I'm excited. No, safe driver save 40%. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I will always go back to Pedro and Major Pedro Serrano, yes. Hats full bats. Keep bats warm. Gracias. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh, dude, okay, so... You want to see Dennis, the the young Dennis Haysbert, watch the movie Major League. Dude is straight cut. He is awesome in that movie. Yes. Okay. He plays cool. a character called Pedro 
Serrano, and he's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> All right, then. I you know, help me now. Up. I say, F- you, Joe Boo. I do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> How intense. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. okay. Uh, so well, anyway. Uh, I was just, okay, also, Tom Ellis's American accent. Can't do it. I hate it. It was bad. It it's wasn't rough. good, right? I hate it. I just, the first time I heard it, I was like, what is that? I was like, that's not, that, that can't be. And then I was like, it is. And then I, like, I watched him while he was doing it, and I was like, I, I don't like this. Yeah. I did. Don't do it anymore. And I thought <laughs> of you right away, because you're like the queen of hating on the accents. But, I, and so I was trying to I honestly have an open mind about it, because I was immediately like, oh, God, John is going to hate this. <laughs> oh, she's gonna hate this accent. Oh, I, I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance, and I just no. Couldn't do like it. He, he was he was drawing out the words too long, trying mm-hmm. trying to. to keep I feel it like he's American accent. been in other things where he's done an American accent better. He, he was in um, that movie, isn't it romantic? He didn't have a big part with Rebel Wilson. Mm-hmm. He was like her doctor or whatever. He had an American accent in that, and that was like. It wasn't bad. It was like, it was, but his scene was so quick. It was just like that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, maybe I can deal with it. But I don't know if he was going for like a Southern thing or, but trying to be North, like trying to be Northern, but it came out Southern. I don't know, but I just wasn't here for it at all. And I was like, pass on this. I don't like it yeah. at all. I just wanted to know why Michael was American and Lucifer was British. <laughs> Well, he had to distinguish the two somehow. I mean, I do feel like very that, confused. That was the reason that it was so that you could distinguish between the two. Yeah, I but I mean, there's a clear physical difference between them because Michael has like the hunt, the lean to the side thing or whatever. Like I was like, I feel like that would have been enough to make me be like, okay, you're a different person than Lucifer is. Yeah, but to give him a whole accent, like I was just like, yeah. But just, yeah, then that, don't you wonder sometimes, I, you know, I, I have to wonder because Tom Ellis is an executive producer on the show. Does, is it, does it get to the point where it, no one's telling him no or everyone's, yeah, that's great. You're really great. You're nailing it, man. They're like, oh, crap. Or if <laughs> they're, they legitimately think it's good. Or, I mean, or they're just around it all day and they're just used to it. Yeah, that could be too. And I also don't know, I didn't know if it was just because we've gotten so used to what he's supposed to sound like that when his mouth was moving and it didn't sound like that we were just not computing it. Like, this is... Yeah, just not it could be. Yeah. But I mean, like, it the first time I... It looks like he was, like, getting overdubbed. Like, his voice was getting dubbed in. <laughs> yes. That's yes. What it, oh, my god. That's what it looks like. Just watching the delivery. It's his delivery. I don't think it's the accent. I think it's the delivery. It's the way he he's looks so. He looks so pained when yeah. he does it, too. Like, it physically hurts him yeah. to have to do the accent. Like he stretches his mouth a weird way. Yeah, it looks <laughs> oh, like someone's man. doing a voiceover on him. Yeah. It's like one of the old kung fu movies. It's awesome. <laughs> So, if you haven't watched the new season of Lucifer, just go into it knowing that it's part kung fu movie. And you- <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, it's a good right, season, good, good cliffhanger. I quite yeah. enjoyed the first half of the season. The only thing I didn't like about it was the accent. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, what's got you weeping? So, I watched this show that's been in my queue literally since it came out. And I just watched it like two days ago. And it's called Never Have I Ever. And it's now, is this a, like this some sort of drama? Because when I saw Never Have I Ever, I thought, is this like a game show where people are just going around doing Never Have I Ever? No, it's okay. actually like a dramedy sort of thing. Oh. So, it's about this girl. So, her character. She's Indian, and she's a teenager, obviously. She's 16, and she's super smart, all this other stuff. Her dad dies. Oh, no. In the most dramatic way. Like, he died at her orchestra concert, and he had a heart attack and died in the middle of her orchestra concert. Oh. Like. How did you keep watching this, like, we discussed on this show before that we both have dead dads 
And well, it, all the it shows was, are making dead dads. It's terrible. Rude. Right? How dare you guys be adding me so hard like this? <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it was because they don't really, they just show it in flashes. Oh, okay. It's not like a full on, she's like, you're in the concert with her and you're seeing, like, it's not, it's, you just see it happen and then it's immediately like present day. Okay. So she, as you're going through your grief process, you tend to not act like yourself. So you tend mm -hmm. to act out. There's this popular guy named Paxton who he's okay looking, I guess. Sounds he's not, he's, he's on the swim team. And so she's just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up to Paxton <laughs> and ask him if he wants to have relations with me. Right. She's 16. That's pretty by bold. The way. Like I can't stress <laughs> enough. And he's popular and she's not obviously okay. because other than that, it wouldn't work. So she's like, hey, we should do this. And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever, let's do it. And then she starts getting all awkward. And she's like, no, maybe not. No, let's, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. And then <laughs> it was like, the way she does it too, because she like, she's like real clumsy and she like talks too much, like when she gets nervous, which, uh, same. So say she sounds like you. Yeah. So I really connect with her, like on a real deep level. <laughs> and but then, of course, in true dramedy fashion, they start to have actual feelings for each other, ah. except for she has this nemesis. Air quotes. Mm. His name's Ben. And they're like, super, they're like the smartest kids in the school. Both of them are. And they hate each other. Just, just imagine like how much Patches hates Superman. <laughs> okay. That, okay. <laughs> That's fair. They hate each other. But anyway, so her and her mom get into this real big ass fight like big dumb ass fight and she moves out of the house she told her mom which it was so dramatic i wish you had been the one that died that night and i was like oh. i was like no she didn't wow. no she didn't say that but you know it's like tv so it's got to be like super dramatic okay. so then she moves out because throughout the whole process of the show her and ben have become friends ah so she moves in with Ben, but Ben's got like a crush on her or whatever. So her mom and her cousin are like, oh, we're going to go spread your dad's ashes because he's been dead for a year. Okay. They still have his ashes. So like, we're going to go spread them at the beach. And she's like, I'm not going to go because you're going to try to get me to move back in or whatever. And they're like, no, that's not what's happening. We just want this to happen. So then all of her friends are like, you need to quit being such a shit. <laughs> 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 and you need to go with your mom to spread your dad's ashes. <laughs> And then at the end, last scene of the show, Ben ends up driving her to the beach to meet with her mom or whatever. So he sits and waits for her. She gets back in the car and she's like, why are you still here? And he was like, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And then she kisses Ben. And I was like, are you kissing Ben right now? Meanwhile, Paxton realizes that he got feelings for her and he's at her house, but she's obviously not home because she's at the beach kissing Ben. And he was like, hey, I just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out and talk, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, she doesn't want to talk and hang out with you because you suck. You're the worst. I hate you, <laughs> Granted, The whole show is narrated by James Mac McEnroe. He's like a tennis player. John McEnroe. John, John McEnroe. I don't know what his name Wait is. Wait a sec. John McEnroe? Like one of, the, one of the biggest legends in tennis? Yes. But why is he narrating this? Because he was like, and that's what he said at the beginning of the episode. Too. He was like, you're probably wondering why I'm narrating about a teenage girl's life. Well, and turns out John McEnroe was her dad's favorite tennis player. Oh. Okay. So they're bringing it full circle. I and love she even got to meet him. that, though. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. That is so random. <laughs> she even got to meet him in the episode where they were spreading her dad's ashes because she's, like, on the beach. She's, like, yelling. It's like, Mom, don't spread them. And she's, oh, and, like, they can't hear her or whatever because, like, the waves and, like, they're too far away. And he comes up and he's like, what's wrong with you? And she's like, oh, my mom is trying to spread my... She's like, holy shit, are you James? Ma are you John McEnroe? And he was like, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> like awesome. Everyone, like that whole scene when anyone saw me, like, is that John McEnroe? <laughs> uh, but I definitely recommend the show to anyone who wants to watch it because right. not many, only does it make you cry. 10 out of 10. Highly 10 recommend. 10 out of 10 tears? 10, okay. 10, 10 out of 10 tears, definitely. Okay. But it's not just because of the crying. It's also because it's funny and there's a lot of heart and the intricate storylines, like they don't, 
Like, remember when I said in Steel Magnolias, there was just too much going on? Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on in this show, but they all intertwine together, and it doesn't feel like they're branching off too much. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jonna. You're welcome. 10 out of 10. What? I don't remember what our scale was. Was it tears? Was it? I don't remember. We'll have to go back to the episode where we created the scale. I don't know. <laughs> um, I would also like to recommend the show Two Patches. It's called Hoops. It's Oops. animated. I, yes, uh, I started uh, the first episode. It's on that. I watched Hilarious. the trailer. We watched actually. It was how the trailers will just start when you're looking for yeah. other things. Yeah. And we watched the whole trailer together, and I got some giggles out of it, and then said, "You can go ahead and watch that one without me." Yeah. It's like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to bed. Good night. I, to bed. I love it. It's so I, funny. I feel like it would be one of those things that he he would have on, and I would giggle at, but I don't think I would sit down and binge. watch it. Yeah. 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 So, Patches, get into hoops. You got it. All right. Uh, and, and one I more. Did, I also, uh, Jenna, I did take your advice. I watched uh, The Last Ride. It was fantastic about The Undertaker that you told me about. It was awesome. That wasn't Jenna. Oh, that was not me. Oh, okay. Well, what's the other it. wrestling movie? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel like a complete jackass. So, thank you. What's the um, other wrestling movie? movie? The movie that I watched was Fighting with My Family. There oh, yeah. Fighting with My Family. That's right. That's right. Patrick took your Absolutely. recommendation and watched the wrong movie. <laughs> I did. And now he has a recommendation for you. <laughs> yes. Cool. Well, thank you, Jonna. We have a kind of nerdy night out planned at the drive-in. We've I'm so excited. It out. It will be uh, it will be an '80s themed night, and if everything goes well and Wonder Woman stays on schedule, it will be Wonder Woman 1984 that we are watching together. The Oh, that reminds me. I have to text the owner of Tibbs Drive-In in Indianapolis if you listen to us locally. We'll still do the... the Normally, we're doing the Kind of Nerdy Night in, which we're live on Friday nights in the Kind of Nerdy Network from 7 to 9. We're still going to be live. We'll just... You can be watching it at home. We'll just be at the drive-in theater. So... I'm excited about it. I hope people aren't too weirded out. I even thought patches, do we need to get plexiglass so that people don't, because you know, with my asthma, I'm not really supposed to be out doing anything and I don't want people like. I'll be your bodyguard too. You'll, you'll be, be my. You'll be my bodyguard. Just wear your mask. I will, but I still like people forget and stuff and it's awkward when I, I'm very paranoid when I'm out in public. And yeah. Then, <laughs> and this is pre-COVID. Yeah. Well, that's true. I wasn't paranoid. <laughs> See, before. Jenna agreed instantly. Thank you. But no, <laughs> not I like paranoid, but like- I was a hugger. Like I was all about. Someone said KJ. I just hugged him. I before I like do now. How do I know you? Uh, I miss hugging people. I know I miss hugging people too. But the Circle City Ghostbusters are going to bring their Ecto One car that they nice. recreated from the movies, and so we'll be able to do social distancing pictures because. Some people can be on one end of the car and some people can be on the other so we can do pictures together. And we're going to do an 80s, a best decorated car contest. That is going to be Friday, October 9th. And we'll have more information about that as we get closer. The great Chris Evans giveaway. There is a link in the Kind of Nerdy Network for you to click on that and get a free entry. And then we're doing some Little fun challenges. I don't know, go follow the kind of nerdy girls on Instagram and things like that. So, what a challenge. <laughs> I, I know, but I don't want to make anyone work too hard. You know, like, just follow us. I don't know. No, you need to do friend. stuff like go find a hot picture of Chris Evans and send it to producer John on Facebook. That's. I was trying to figure out what we could do with that. <laughs> like... Well, what can we do with a, a Chris Evans, like, uh, a, a gift contest or something like that? I don't know. I was trying to think yeah. of something. that we, Jada, you start thinking about that. Oh, no. Don't make me do stuff. Yep, yep. <laughs> and maybe you'll edit this episode, and I'll edit it, too, and only my version will ever be heard. <laughs> I know. After all that hard work I put into that episode, you didn't even post it. <laughs> I was so embarrassed because I, I know how much work you did, and then I did the, I'd already done the work, too, and then... There was no time, and it didn't have the, I'm trying to put the kind of nerdy girls music in it, 
and I didn't, you didn't have that. And I was like, oh, God, I, just, I didn't know where it was. If I would have known where it was, I would have put it in there. I know, but I didn't put it somewhere for you because I didn't think that you needed it because I thought I sent you the episode that already had it. <laughs> I just want to say that Chad was very supportive. He was like, that's okay, guys. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> So somewhere there's a, what we're calling the Snyder cut of the Chad Michael <laughs> Collins interview that Jonna edited it the way she You'll saw. never hear it. <laughs> You'll never hear it. You'll never hear it. But we'll put it on our Patreon. <laughs> you, can, you want it that bad, you can pay five bucks for it. <laughs> Still, Jonna, you want to know how much, how much we've made on Patreon? Five dollars. Now, drum roll. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> we paid zero dollars. Now we don't promote it, so it's not like True. people aren't running around Patreon going. I'm just really looking for a podcast I know nothing about to give my money to. <laughs> uh, I do that. What do you mean? <laughs> but, uh, well, if you when you get some extra money, throw it my way because we still have uh, zero dollars in Patreon. I don't but know what that means. Our, our merch store, but I don't know how you can get to it. So don't worry about that. I'll get a link. <laughs> We're well, hopefully we'll have all this out. sorted out by, by the kind of nerdy night out. Well, I'm it'll the be great. Worst. I'm so bad at this. This is why I write things down, KJ. <laughs> oh. Okay, here's if you really want our merch, if you go to if you Google teespring.com, kind of nerdy girls, our store will come up. But I know that you don't want it that bad, so I'll get a link that you can remember and have it ready by the next show. We'll put it in the bios of our, our social medias. I don't have enough room on my Twitter. You know, we don't have enough Just room on the Kind of Nerdy it, Girls Twitter? Oh, maybe on the Kind of Nerdy Girls Put Twitter. it in the banner of the nerdygirls.com. Okay. I, guess, yes. I don't know do, how do to a, do that. Get, get a hyper, put a hyperlink there. Oh, I know what I can do. I figured it out. I've got it. I've got an idea. I'll, I, okay. I got this, guys. We're going to get this figured out. If you want a t-shirt that says you're nerdy, you're going to be able to get one. If you love this show and you want us to keep going, give us $5 on Patreon or, when you find us. Or you could rock the, uh, the shirt that my self-producer Patches is wearing, nerdy, before it was cool. Yes. That's the 100th episode shirt. We sold three of them. Yes. Wow. Cool. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. These were our samples that I bought at cost. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sweet. We sold three of them to other people. Oh, not us. That. Three people bought our shirts. We're on our way, guys. There we Woo! go. We, we have people way. who love us. That's right. The little nerds that could. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to go uh, order some French fries. I love you. You still didn't order any French fries? No. Oh. No. Now it's 8 o'clock. You know what's going to happen? We're just going to heat up some meatloaf. Wah, wah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm hungry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Join the-